first step to setting up your goggle ball pit is to mark your holes at the end of the boards. The next step is countersink your holes. Countersink your holes with a 1316 spade bit, go about a quarter inch deep. The next step is to drill through your hole with a 3 8 inch drill bit. And it's always good to just widen out that hole as you're drilling, just to get rid of any debris or splintering. The next step to building your goggle ball pit is to bolt your lumber to the brackets, starting with the bottom layer. The bolt and the small washer goes through the countersunk hole, which is on the inside of the goggle ball pit, and out beyond the end of the board through the bracket and then you use your large washer and your stainless steel acorn nut on the outside and just go hand tight. Do the bottom layer of boards all the way around the goggle ball pit and only get the nuts and bolts hand tight. The next step is attach this next layer the same way, building up your layer of boards, whether it's two for a 24 inch model or three boards for a 30 inch model. Once you've got all your boards connected, it's a good idea to go around and straighten your brackets. Just grab the bracket, lift it, and you may feel it adjust and align with the rest of the brackets together. Once everything is aligned, go around and tighten all the nuts and bolts. Once you have all your nuts and bolts tightened, you can go around and sand the tops of the boards, or if you've purchased our wall top covers, it's time to slip those over and then follow the instructions for securing them to the walls. If you decide to build the cutout openings, the templates and instructions came with the kit for that. Follow the simple instructions for doing those. You'll need a five quarter by six by eight board for doing each cutout, along with about 25 two inch wood screws. Regarding maintenance of your goggle ball pit, it's always a good idea to go back in a week or two and retighten your nuts and bolts. And another good idea is to go back and make sure that all the lumber is free of any splinters or any sharp areas. Once your goggle ball pit is all tightened up, you're ready to play.